Hey, Steve Domenico here from Regional Feist Sports here with Senad Amudi yes. coming off a first round knockout, TKO, ground and pound finish in the first round. Your MMA pro debut, CES. How you feeling, bud? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. You know, it's been uh, it's been a lot of work, a lot of studying. So we're finally here. Um, we got the finish, but I gotta I gotta work a lot more on my technique and uh, get everything nice and crisp. Excellent. Well, you come out of you know a great school there, Florian Arts uh, Martial Arts there, big Jiu Jitsu school. Yeah. And you know your last fight, big Jiu Jitsu finish, big finish there at Cage Titans. You come here, yes, we're thinking it's going to hit the ground, and we might get another finish out of you and uh, you know a great opponent you had against going against another Jiu Jitsu guy, but. You took him out with, too. yeah, you took him out with uh, your stand-up game, man. Let's talk about, was that something you wanted to come in here and show, or did it just end up happening that way? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I was definitely looking forward to letting my hands go. You know, I've been, I've been working striking for some time now, so uh, the game plan was to let the hands go because he was a grappler, you know. In training, I'll always go to where the person is strongest. So if he's a grappler, I'll grapple with him. I wouldn't wrestle with him. If he's a wrestler, I'd wrestle with him. I wouldn't grapple. And the same thing with strikers. But in a fight, you want to take, you want to go to where he's, he's weak at. That's the strategy. So the strategy was to uh, fight him on the feet uh, rather than on the, on the ground. Even though I, w I was fine, but that's the probability of me winning on the feet was, you know, I felt like it was a lot higher than on the ground. Well, there was a, you know, a couple of scrambles on the ground there, yeah. and you know, we thought it was going to stay there, but you know, you got control back on the feet. Yeah. Uh, how'd you feel in there as a pro now, compared to when you were an amateur? You had a three-minute, three-minute rounds before, yeah. where the five, and you kind of went, you went four and a half minutes or so in this fight, man. What was the change in training leading up to becoming, you know, getting in for your pro debut? Honestly, I like that there's more time, just because there's more time to work instead of being rushed. Uh, the three minutes in my last fight, I, I believe I finished it at the very end. It felt like everything happened so quickly. Here, it went longer, and uh, I believe I have good cardio, so it's going going the full rounds doesn't matter. If anything, it's so I can capitalize on the person's mistakes and the openings, you know, which I need to do a better job at, you know, so you can read the opponent, read and react, and uh, make him pay, pay for his mistakes. So I like the time. As my boxing coach, uh, Joe Lake, says, let it marinate, you know. I uh, didn't do much of that today, but uh, I, I, I like that it's going longer. Well, you know, you're a little critical on yourself in the first fight where you just, you know, had a TKO finish in the first round against yeah. someone that's had a few fights. Uh, are you always like that? Always want to, you know, always Absolutely. looking at your fights, want to improve, even though you come off a great win. Yeah. Your coaches, I hear them talking to you, take this win and we'll talk about, you know, what we need to fix and, you know, go on to that next pro fight. Is that, you know, you Absolutely. like that on yourself all the time? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of critical because um, you always want to improve and none of us are perfect, but every day you want to try to get closer and closer to achieving excellence. You know, you can never be perfect, but you might just achieve excellence. So every day you want to try to get a little bit better, more and more. Uh, so you can't, you can't always pat yourself on the shoulder say today I did good every day I never felt like any day was enough any session was enough you know and again uh, I'll, I have to mention my coaches you know my coach Keith is always like Sarah calm down you know you don't have to train so hard because sometimes I might go overboard and that's true nonetheless you always want to be critical and improve you know you can't stay stagnant you can't stay the same just just movement again like coach Paul says just movement every day doesn't mean improvement so you always have to uh, try to fix your mistakes and get better around Excellent. Well, my man, uh, you know, I don't want to say quick work, but it was a first round in there. Where Thank do we go you, from yes, here? Thank you um, you seem sir. fresh. You got no damage in there. First pro fight. Where do we go from there? Uh, the only thing we can do is keep going. You know, that's that's uh, that's life. Um, you know, the world is going to keep turning whether I won today or whether I lost. And all I can do is just do the best I can every day and. Uh, Keep getting better. Keep teaching. Keep training. Uh, traveling, and just let it let it take over. Let it consume me. You know, it's my dream. It's my passion, and I'm glad that I had the courage to just go for it. Excellent. Last thing. Shout out your first first win in there as a pro. Yeah. Uh, let it out. Who you got to thank? Anything like that? Social media, because we got to watch you, man. We got another fight coming pretty soon. I would imagine. Well, it's it really has to come down to the coaches. You know, it's a team effort. You can't. I don't think you can do this alone. You know, I might go in there alone and fight, but um, my friends, I feel like they're in here, they're, they're, they're with me, you know, so my, my coaches are a big, big part of that, you know, 
uh, the coach that I've been with for eight years here in Boston, Keith Florian, uh, my boxing coach Joe Lake, my kickboxing coach uh, Paul Rosado, my coach in Jordan, uh, Ashraf Shishani, my cousin Muhammad, all those guys, you know, and my uh, my sparring partners Dan Wallach, uh, Sean. Uh, Jadafer, Alfredo, and all the good people at Corey Martial Arts. I'd like to say thank you. I uh, couldn't have done it without my uh, family and friends. Excellent, man. Yeah. Well, great show in so there. Great to see, uh, you know, a pro debut. Yes, sir. And you finishing the guy in the first round. Second fight of the night, man. Uh, Senate. I'm Odi, man. Congratulations, you, and we'll be Thank seeing you, you soon, having. bro. Thank you. Yes, sir. You're always welcome to come train with us. Oh, man. yeah. We'll see about yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>